Alright, so Flaherty, Chili and Aquatic. So, did a little, um, trip to her. Why not? Only two tanks. So, this is the Blue Dreams. All my strawberries that are up here. Still hoping for some breeding soon. Unlike my yellow ones, Blue Dreams are not breeding at the moment. <clears throat> not sure why. But I ended up actually pulling a bunch more of the uh, boosts to bring it over here because apparently the Yamanas, or maybe the thread fence, not sure which, kept pulling them out of where I had them stuck. And I will not glue these things because every time I've ever glued these, they die. Yeah, not gonna happen anymore. But yeah, but the Blue Dreams are doing good. We have a few snails to do off here in a bit. I just wish they would breed. But I guess they will when they get around to it. But yeah, tanks come along nicely. <clears throat> I still will be taking the uh, back and scraping it clean and doing the uh, glass paint on the back. I haven't decided on the design I'm doing yet. Gotta do something off the wall. For fun. Clean back, just, yeah, it's not gonna happen. But yep, there's the Blue Dreams. Um, 125. The, cher the cherries, the cherries are actually breeding. There were cherries and Bloody Marys both, so cool. I've had a bunch of babies in here. They're all hanging out in here somewhere. And of course, now I'm filming. Won't steal one of them more than likely. Yep. Oh well, that's okay. I see a couple of them. They're doing quite well. Ah, there we go. Oh, big dogs. And yeah, they're just as bright in real life as they are on the screen. Very impressive. But yeah, they're not showing themselves tonight. Oh wait, look in here. Where you at? Yeah, you kind of shaded, but yep, there's one of the babies. Yep, they're doing quite well. And nanos are all too small to um, be an issue, so cool. And my fingers in the way. But here's the yellows I got from Garden of Eater. And look at all the babies on the back. If you can see them. They're popping them out left and right and they're growing pretty fast too. That's cool we are focusing. Yeah, about half a dozen or so babies. Oh jeez. I just seen this. I don't know if I'm real focus on it. Right there, that little whitish line, that's a baby. That's brand new. So yeah, these guys are doing good. Really good. They're all over on here. The sponge filter that is. It's a 10 gallon tank. Hmm. They may have to get upgraded pretty soon because, wow. But we had decided to add a few more plants in here too just because we're having a green water issue in here. But as you can see, got my fingers, but the green water has Bit the dust. And all it took was a 50% water change twice over a two week period and it knocked it right out. So I'm pretty happy with that. <clears throat> yeah, I need to clean up the top of it. Get some uh, Monte Carlo has come loose and replant it. Speaking of which, it's actually starting to take off pretty good. Yeah, it's got an on the front window, I'm trying to deal with that. Don't care about the sides and the backs, but gotta have the front clean. I wanna see my sh trippies. But yeah, this is coming along nicely. Just wish the Monte Carlo grew a little faster, but hey. 
can't control that too much unless you want to spend a bloody fortune on CO2. That ain't happening. But there's my shrimp he said. Oh yeah, hang on. A little striat. I don't like it little hand in front of the damn screen. But this is the 10 gallon that I took apart and moved everybody out of. This is gonna get scrubbed down, stripped, and this will become a shrimp tank as well. I'm thinking possibly either King Kongs, maybe Taiwanese bees, Taiwan bees, or some type of really. I have not decided yet, but I will make the decision on the shrimp first before I do the scape, so make sure you get the proper substrate. If you want a black substrate, you can get black King Kongs, for example. That would not look good. That would be pointless. But yep, there's where we're at. We're getting there. Oh, and I went ahead and threw some plants in the 55. Mostly swords. They're doing quite well. And these little psychopaths aren't really bothering them. But they keep guarding this area over here, so I keep trying to see if there's fry popping up. Nope. You got. Yep, these guys are psychos. Oh well. Alright folks. Later.